Hey guys, this is Julian of Julian Gray Media. This episode is going to be a little bit different because I'm in a bit of a rush. Um, I am moving to LA, as I've said in a couple other videos, and I'm kind of busy. But I wanted to get something out for you guys today. So I wanted to do this video on why I believe Splice is the future of collaboration, of project backups, and of uh, sample and plugin buying. Um, if you don't know what Splice is, it's essentially a utility you sign up for online, um, and it's an account. It's a catch-all account that essentially is your producer's account now, and um, you can download and buy plugins through it. You can collaborate with other uh, users through it. You can back up all of your projects and every revision of your project. Um, we'll get into that in a minute. You can buy samples and download them directly. You can splice famous producers' projects and all that sort of cool stuff. We're just going to do a little bit of a rundown on some of the cool stuff you can do with Splice. So I'm actually going to go ahead and open the Splice window here. Let's make this full screen. So Splice, as you can see, is essentially a place where you can save your projects. and um, It's essentially a cloud based service that allows you to back up your projects to the cloud and then download them at a later date. What makes Splice so cool above over things like Dropbox or Google Drive and I know a lot of producers may be using Dropbox or Google Drive to let's say um, you open the project you save it to your Google Drive folder or your Dropbox folder and then the um, the project in your Google Drive or Dropbox folder is now updated and that works that's the old way of doing it but splice now created this new and updated version a very producer centric and producer based uh, version of, of that cloud based model um, and they have very much optimized it I've actually sunk every single project for the past three years or two and a half years or what have you ever since I discovered splice I've never stepped away from it. I've used it for every project I've put out or um, just used for my own personal backups. So let me go through the process here of actually writing a song, putting it into the splice folder, and then uploading it. So if you're in Ableton here, the process essentially is installing this utility in the bottom right here. Uh, this is the splice utility. And as you can see, these are all projects I'm working on and can submit to the site. Um, I'll actually submit them because I need to anyway. Um, but basically these are all my projects that I've worked on ever you can scroll down forever um, and you can hit open on any of these projects here or in this window up here and you can literally download the latest revision of the project and then uh, open it the other cool thing about this is that if you open a project window here you can see every revision that you've ever made of the project so Splice works just like Dropbox or Google Drive. Whenever you save over the project, it'll replace the newest revision um, in your cloud automatically. But every save that you do, Splice will log and keep it in a little bit of a box here. So if I wanted to go back in this project and open the first revision I ever made, I can do that. I can go back and rescue a preset or a MIDI clip that I may have deleted in revision 17 and that I want to bring back in the final revision 78 so um, that's another really cool thing about splice you can backtrack your revisions you can go back and open other projects that you may have never um, been able to open before because you saved over them so really quickly let's just do a test project here I'm gonna uh, make a MIDI clip or something then I'm gonna hit file uh, save live set and what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to Documents, Splice, and then all we have to do is save this as a new file. Let's do a testing project. Hit Save. And then Splice is going to automatically detect that I made this new project. It's going to upload that project, as you can see right here. And then if we go to the Splice window now, we can go back, and it'll show testing project in our... Um, folder here and then you get this prompt at the side testing project was added to splice view the project to add collaborators collaborators or edit settings so now I can literally click on this project and see the revisions that I've made so this is uh, clip one or version one and as you can see nothing is filled out here but um, let's go to a project that you can actually see something uh, let's open the walk again um, and this is a track that I'm coming out with shortly now uh, if I go to the first revision you can't see anything here 
but if I go to like let's say revision 34 you can see my project as it stood in revision 34 you can see everything laid out of the project you have the kick hat the snare this is a literal mirror of Ableton um, the colors are even the same and the placement of files are the same another cool thing you can do is if you wanted to leave a comment uh, to a collaborator or someone that um, you might be giving the project to or even yourself if you want to uh, take notes in the future you can click anywhere and you can leave a note for yourself let's say uh, hey Julian adjust this pad remove 4k and then hit comment and then that comment will there then be right there so that the next producer in line can see it um, so when I say collaboration, you can actually add people to this list and you can have them do the exact same thing that you're doing. So as you saw, I saved this project file here and um, I'm the only one working on it right now. But if I added someone else to this project with the collaborators tab, I can literally go in and download any version that they make or I make and it saves both of our revisions of the project every single one of them and then I can open the newest revision do that comment thing I just showed you and then I can see exactly what they did to the project before I even open the project it's really really intuitive and it's designed for producers unlike Dropbox or Google Drive where it's just literally a file syncing program another cool thing you can do in splice is that you can see um, if I can do it, you can literally import the audio playback um, of the project. Let me open a project that actually has it. There we go. You can see that he uploaded the audio bounce of the project. So now if I hit play, you can literally see what's playing at any given time in the track. So that snare just came in and it'll show the entire track. It's like a more advanced version of SoundCloud or Clip where you can literally see everything that's going on in the track according to that audio bounce so I have a feeling this is gonna replace something like SoundCloud for producers where producers can leave a comment anywhere saying I don't I wanna fix this kick or you should fix this kick here and then um, you can literally change and um, modify the track comments to a, anything that you want to tell the other collaborator so here's me and KJ Saka from Pendulum and Destroyed um, and we were throwing this project back and forth between the collab alliance um, and as you can see I can open his revision and he can open my revision and we can see exactly what each of us added to the project and what um, we can do uh, to improve it so that's really cool um, that's the whole project syncing aspect of splice there's a lot of other cool stuff you can do with splice in addition to these project syncing you can actually apply tags to your projects let's just say potential to recycle projects that I've saved and then maybe want to come back in the future you can just add hashtags to your projects and then search through them in a very intuitive and fast way it's a very easy way to um, save your project let's say singles like run reflections what have you and then you can of course see all your projects, you can see solo projects, you can see collaborations, and you can see projects that you splice from other people. Like let's just say I wanted to grab this Hellberg track. That's another thing. With a release, you can literally go in and release the project. Here's Hellberg's uh, The Girl. Um, and you can literally open a famous producer's project with that um, splicing feature. So then you can work on it yourself and then um, uh, basically, allows you to make a copy of their project and then work on it yourself and then play around with it. It's really cool and I think it's the future of um, online collaboration between producers. There's other things you can do with Splice. There's something called Splice Sounds. I actually did a full review on Splice Sounds. If you want to check that out, you can click on the link above me right now and check out the Splice Sounds review I did. Um, Splice Sounds, in essence, I'll leave the rest of it to the review I did, is a way that you can pick out individual samples um, from packs because in the past we had to go through every single pack we'd have to buy a full pack to use three samples out of it and um, splice sounds literally allows you to pick one sample and then uh, use a credit that you have that you pay per month so let's just say I have 1500 credits here or 1100 as it were um, and I can just buy a single sound that I wanted to use instead of buying a full $50 pack for two sounds that I wanted from it it's the future of samples and uh, the way they're distributed in my opinion
And then we have the plugins window here, which is a window for all of your plugins. You can literally buy any plugin that uh, you need from this plugin window here. Let's just say my collaborator on a project used uh, Kickstart or Ozone on their project. And I'm like, huh, I don't have Kickstart or Ozone and I need it for this project I'm working on. You can literally just go out and buy or now rent a plugin from the Splice um, service. It'll download it automatically through your Splice utility here. And then you can literally um, continue working on your project and install the plugin seamlessly. Splice kind of consolidates everything that you need to be a producer and puts them in one place. It lets you back up your project files. It allows you to um, collaborate with other users very intuitively and give them good notes on things like which tracks individually that you want them to change. You can isolate things like instead of saying I want you to fix this lead I can say and literally point out the lead I want them to fix and put a comment on it and then while it's playing you can see where it's it's coming up you can download sounds that you may have only needed one instead of buying the entire pack that it comes in and you can literally rent to own and buy plugins and download them directly through the splice window now there's just so many cool things you can do with Splice. It's like a one account fixes all uh, kind of solution to producing and it's really awesome, it's really intuitive and I think that in the future we'll see more and more producers hopping on board. That's just my thoughts on Splice. If you have any questions about Splice or anything else, I'm sure you can hit them up about it. You can hit me up about it in the comments below and I'll try to iron out anything that uh, you guys may be having problems with or if you guys want any advice on how to use Splice or how to collaborate with people, uh, let me know in the comments below. If this video helped you out, give it a like. If it didn't, give it a dislike. And let me know why in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I make a video every Wednesday and Friday. And I'm Julian of Julian Gray Media. The next time you see me, I'll be in California. And I'll be moved in over there. So I might do some moving vlogs. I'm not sure yet. But um, until then, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.